Well, hey folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, the place where people go to get really, really good at Photoshop. And I've got a uh, another in my series of Photoshop Buried Treasure. This one's wild. Uh, this is a Photoshop CC thing, but it's been in Photoshop CC for a while, but it's just like you're like, what? And I'm going to show you, you're going to be like, what? Here's what it is. Go into the filter menu under render and you can render a tree or a whole bunch of trees so just choose tree and up comes a window it gets its own window and you can create trees now don't worry there are a bunch of tree types already in here you can choose from a bunch of trees or create your own custom tree but let's create a fiscus microcarpa one I've never heard of before and probably mispronounced. All right, so here's the tree. You can decide the direction you want the light, so you can change the light to a different direction if you want, All right? You can change the amount of leaves on the tree, and you can make it different times of year. You can change the size of the leaves, the height of the branches. You can customize this, customize this thing, the thickness of the branches. Do you want thin branches? Do you want thick branches, all right? The whole nine yards. I'm bored with the Fiscus microcarpa, as I'm sure you are. How about a young, uh, just a maple, all right? So once you're here, you can also choose leaves. Now it uses the default leaves by default. <laughs> Duh. But if you turn off the checkbox here, now you can choose what kind of leaves you want. And there are all kinds of different leaves that you can choose from. And uh, that's a, maybe you made those leaves just a tad big. There we go. And you can choose your light direction. Maybe this will be a little more obvious here. There you go. And the thickness of the branches and the whole knock duck. You can really see any branches in here. Anyway, and there's also a checkbox here down here to randomize the shapes. And when you click OK, it's going to create a tree. And of course, you can make a whole bunch of trees. You know, you can make, uh, you know, make them different sizes. Here, let's hold the option key and drag ourselves a copy and make more trees and go and create as many trees as you want it can be your own private forest but anyway there's some photoshop buried treasure the ability to create your own fairy tale forest right inside of photoshop hey while you're watching photoshop tutorials so i kind of i know you're into photoshop right head over to kelbyone.com take the free trial we have hundreds of classes on photoshop and lightroom photography and fun stuff go check it out you can start learning today all right, everybody, take care. We'll catch you next time.